Gaza just over there. This is one of the gates that Hamas broke through exactly six months to this day. As you can see, the Gaza is right here, one mile away. They entered by cars, motorbikes, walking uh, from any age. They came with every weapon they could. If it's guns, machine guns, um, explosions, whatever can help them. Uh, and you can see also on the houses. Look, this is an RPG who was exploded on a house. What did it sound like? It must have been screaming sounds of terror. You want to hear it? Constant gunfire. You recorded that from the safe room? Yeah. Imagine yourself what happens if I'm opening the door. Are you having yeah. flashbacks to being in that safe room? Yeah. What does it mean? It means pieces of a human was found on the coach. Human remains? Yeah. This is Sivan El Kabet and her boyfriend now Hasidin. And um, they was hiding here under bed and was brutally murdered. This is the house where Noah and Savan were killed that day. The family set up photos to remember them and to remember the devastation caused. Now, this is the final conversation between Savan and her father. At around seven, she sends a message saying that she can hear gunfire. He replies saying the army is here. Then a bit later, she sends a message saying they are hiding under the bed in the safe room. He asks for her location. She sends it at about 12 past 11. That's four hours from the initial message. He replies saying, are there soldiers there? And then, Sivan, Sivan. And that's the last he ever heard of her.